In this video, guys, we're gonna look at calculating the currency cross pair rates. Hey traders, warm welcome to you. FX traders, one for you this. Okay, quick video on how you calculate the currency cross pair rates. First of all, what is a cross? Well, many, many years ago, if you wanted to convert, let's say, pounds into yen, you first of all had to convert it into dollars and then convert those dollars into yen because GBP traded against USD, USD traded against JPY, as we can see here, pound, US dollar, US dollar, JPY. That was what you had to do to get your yen. However, times have changed now. We have what's called the crosses, which means that we have to, we can bypass that USD transaction all together. And if you look at some examples of crosses here, we've got GBP, JPY, Euro, JPY, Euro, CHF, Euro, GBP. You can see that the common denominator or the common theme throughout these is that there's no US dollar constituent because there's no US dollar component, should I say? I'm not talking about an index basket here. There's no component here that's USD. So this going straight from the currency you want, from the currency you have to the currency you want. So. Let's go over here and let's work out how we would calculate that, how the cross pair is calculated and how this kind of whole triangle situation works. So GBP, JPY, we, we've got pounds, we wanna convert them into yen. What's the, what's the exchange rate for that? So first of all, we look at the pound US dollar rate and we look at that and we say, okay, the, the current trading, the current price uh, on the exchange, whether it's the bid price or the offer price, let's assume it's the offer price, is 1.296. Great, we'll drop that down. Now we look at the USD JPY uh, currency pair price. Uh, USD JPY is trading at 110.54. So what we've got to do is we've got to use those two, convert those two, utilize those two figures to give us our GBP JPY. What we do is we cross off theoretically the USD component. So we're just multiplying those two together. So we multiply 1.296 by 110.54 and we get 143.26. So that is our GBP JPY price. So if you don't believe me, go and check it out. Have a look on TradingView or have a look on any of your trading platforms. Now make sure you use all the decimal places here. I've kind of taken a bit of a shortcut just for maths purposes and knocked off the end one, but make sure you've got the end one here. Make sure you've got the extra, as many as it quotes you, because that's gonna give you an accurate price. And interestingly, play around with the calculator when I was messing around with this uh, for the video, a little tiny adjustment in both of these either way makes a big difference here. Don't know why I'm surprised, it's maths, right? But these things kind of make me surprised from time to time. Interestingly, a very tiny adjustment here means that there's a, a lot of difference at this end here. And well, why wouldn't it, of course, if you're multiplying it, if that one's high, that one's low, you're gonna get a bigger, a bigger swing. So you can see how these are all interrelated. And this is why you've got a lot of banks who are trading arbitrage opportunities, really not very um, accessible for the retail guy, but you can see if someone come, came in and had a massive order that moved USD JPY significantly, and if you multiplied that by that, you didn't get that, there would be an opportunity to perhaps buy that and sell that, or do some kind of arbitrage, sell the one that had moved, buy the, uh, buy the one that had hasn't moved, that kind of thing, because you know the theoretical price of the three currencies, GBP, JPY, USD, you know the three pairs that you're looking at there. If they don't all equal what they should do, then they presents a very, very small opportunity for arbitrage. Like I say, it's not something that we can grab onto, but banks are always there looking at all day long, making sure that these things are in line, because a big buyer comes in and skews something. Not so much in these pairs, because these are big boy markets, but maybe some of the smaller stuff, this triangulation type thing where you've got three pairs that are all interlinked. If someone comes in and moves a market heavily just by one order, the others go out of line. There is an ARP there because you can buy one and sell the other and make the free money in between. There's always a risk in execution, but that's the theory of it. So anyway, guys, going off piste a little bit here, but that's calculating currency uh, cross pair rates using the GBP, JPY example. Good trading, guys. Whatever you're up to, keep the risk managed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.